And now the oral paper. The oral paper goes for an hour or thereabouts and you have four questions to answer. When you start the examination, please use the five minute reading time very carefully. Try to place your four chosen examples into a style, time frame, genre. Check the concepts for discussion. They'll all be used throughout the paper. Start to mentally prepare some clue words related to the style of each example if possible. And know which question will need extra setup time. For example, a comparison question. And then the music begins. It is very important that a judgment is not made. And what I mean by that, it's when the music is played, you think to yourself, oh, I don't like this style of music. That is automatically shifting your focus from what you are supposed to do. So be careful not to make a judgment about the music. This examination tests your ability to discuss the musical concepts, not whether you like or dislike the chosen examples. There'll be a number of short playings of the music. Listen and focus, particularly with the first two or three playings. Write down, if you can, some initial observations only and use the longer gaps between playings to write your answer. When writing your answer, choose your style. Is it going to be point form, essay form, etc.? And please keep the writing readable. Someone has to read your answer to give you marks. If you use diagrams, graphs, etc., please label them also so we can understand what you, what you mean. Focus on the concepts for discussion. And you can use your own words to describe features if you don't know the musical term. And please use appropriate language, no swear words, even if you are frustrated. And handy hints to prepare for an oral exam. Listen to lots and lots of different styles of music. It is very important to understand traditional classical music. Learn to separate the layers of music happening. For example, a bass line, melody line, accompaniment, etc. Learn the formal structure. For example, verse chorus, what is repeated, what is varied, what is contrasted. If you can do that, you're off to a good start with your answer. And of course, I'll repeat again, know and understand the concepts. And finally, composition. In your composition, remember you must display all the concepts. You have to use all of them within your composition. Make sure you understand the technical demands of the instruments you have selected. For example, the range of each instrument. Know how to work with the melody, and that is always the best starting point. Learn to vary it, contrast it, develop it. And plan the structure very, very carefully. What parts you're going to repeat, what you're going to contrast. Remember, four minutes is the maximum length of your composition. It does not have to go for four minutes, but please do not go over time because that will penalise you. Don't try to fill up the time with unrelated material or improvisation. The biggest problem examiners face with marking composition is the editing process. Please include bar numbers, page numbers, and rhythmic notes, particularly if you're using tablature. Clefs need to go on every line and every page for every single instrument, even your percussion. A legend, indicator of instruments, and special instructions at the very, very beginning. Articulations need to go onto your copies as well. And these are the volume and speed indicators as well as instrument specific technical signs. For example, pizzicato, staccato. Your portfolio is the other part of the compositional process. 
And this is a document record of how you went about your composition, and it is a compulsory exercise. The compositional process needs to be an accurate record of the development of your composition. The portfolio is not handed in for marking, but may be requested by the Board of Studies if there are some marking issues. Therefore, it is a compulsory record and is an assessment requirement. So please document everything, melodies, rhythmic ideas, chord structures, what you've changed, what you've kept, all of that. A handy website for you to visit is the Board of Studies website, particularly notes from the Marking Centre, which will give you an idea of different candidate responses from years gone by, and particularly the year preceding your exam. I wish you all the best of luck and please break a leg.